Hello everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever time it may be where you are. So this is going to be the kind of like a speed run of all of quarter one. I know I kind of like fell apart at the end of the year last year and then Q1 happened and I was a hot mess, but I still kept up with my tracker. So this is going to be a, um, like an overview of everything I've done so far for the new year. And then hopefully moving forward, I can be more consistent. So I repurposed one, my um, like regular planner from the Happy Planner. This just had like 2019 to, two, to 2020. And um, I just put some electrical tape over it to cover it up. Maybe I'll put a pretty sticker on it another day. But it's nice because then all of my tabs are completed for the month. Ha! Huh. And then I just put like cardstock on the other side to um, like cover up the dates. And then here I put some stickers to put BBP because I am using the Budget Moms method and I cut the pages down to size and um, what else? Cut the pages down to side. I punched the pages and um, yeah, I really like using the classic size. I, part of me does kind of want to use the full size, that way I don't have to cut the pages, but um, this is just more convenient for having on my desk, basically. But I may, um, I'll see how I feel at the end of the year with cutting all the pages down. But these are just like notes that I have. Um, I'm not really going to get into that because we're short on time today. So. 2021, um, this is the bill tracker page and I'm using it to track just like any subscriptions or anything that I might have and then the due dates as they come up throughout the month. This one I'm using for my actual medical bill for my allergist payments. Um, I never know exactly how much I owe and since um, I know they bill me every month, but to actually keep track of how much I have left, I'm gonna just keep a running tab basically on the side for it. And that's been helping a lot. This is some debt plans that I had and most of them I've crossed off because I realized that it's not really the direction that I was looking into going. And here is January. Welcome January. So like here's the cardstock I was talking about. I did try to track my no spend days and um, I did okay. I had 21 no spend days or what I consider a no spend day. And, um, out of 31 days, that's actually pretty good. Now that I think about it. Um, I feel like I should be more proud of days that I'm not spending anything, but, um, because a lot of times my payment schedule has been a little wonky. I never know like what is acceptable. Is it okay when it's unplanned or not planned or whatever? So I don't know. I'll, I'll keep changing it probably month to month or week to week, but um, at least for this month, I I think I did pretty good. I tried to keep up with my color key. I did okay there. Um, this is my bill pay tracker. And what I did was I made a budget for each account that I was going to be using throughout the month. And then I added up the totals at the end of the month. So that way I knew like exactly how much was coming out for each account. Um, this monthly budget, for example, is for my Chase Freedom card. You can hardly see it there. And then, and then this is my Chase Rewards expense tracker. And this was the budget that I was gonna be using for the Chase Rewards. This is my monthly breakdown. So I'm not really sure what happened. Like here I say, or here I said I had spent 1067, but here I put 1986. I'm not really gonna worry about those numbers because I don't really understand what I did or didn't do, but um, I am gonna leave it at 56% of total payment because, and also like my income was only 1908, so I would have overspent, but I still had a positive balance, I don't know. It doesn't really make that much sense to me. So um just gonna leave that part alone. Uh, my breakdown, I spent 137 for miscellaneous, 70 utility, personal was 461, 
Entertainment was 24. Savings or holidays was nothing. Savings was 355. And debt payoff was 1067. For my monthly comparison, I made $307 less than I did in December. And here is February. So I have hearts for February. How uh, original, right? And then for February, I tried to keep up with my no spend days. I can't remember if I spent money or not on the 28th, but I had at least 11 no spend days. And um, I tried to pay keep track of what I paid for based on the account I was using. Um, budgeting notes. I did get a job at the end of February, so that was really exciting. And... And, and, and. So I did the same thing where I had a expense tracker for each account and then um, a monthly budget for each account that I was using. And that really helped me understand, get a better hold of like how, where I was putting my money, even if it was on a credit card, because then I could see like how much was I putting on my credit card. Chase Rewards card. Thinking funds. Oh, and then on the back of my sinking fund page, for example, I'll make a list of what the total amount is for and the breakdown for each account or each fund essentially that I'm trying to save for. This is my February monthly breakdown, uh, monthly savings, and the category breakdown. Um, so, like, I budgeted 116, I spent 55. Um, let's see, I spent 1248 on total debt. But then like, what is this? Debt payments 1248, 766. I don't understand. I'm gonna have to figure out what what is going on here because I could have sworn, I could have sworn I did better in February when it comes to that. Mm, maybe not. Okay, so something I have to look at is making sure my numbers match because they should match. Um, here, for example, 1248. This should match this. I'm gonna have to figure out what, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? So here's the monthly comparison. I made $642 less than I did in January. And then here, look, 1248. But then on this side is 766. So what? What am I doing? One thirty. Three seventy three. Seven thirty six. Sometimes I have cash back, but it shouldn't be that big of a difference. Okay, March. Let's try this again. <laughs> March is my budget plans in March. None of this really came to fruition. Um, but I do have cute little clovers for March, so that's exciting, right? So March, um, I didn't really keep track of no spend days, but as you can see, for the most part, it looks okay. Um, food, I did not keep track of that. This was my breakdown for any deposits I made for my sinking funds, for the electronic sinking funds. I hole punched the wrong side. This is the March bill pay budget. These are all the transactions I had from my bill pay. I'm trying to get a hold back on my uh, account. And then I have one little, tiny little last line here at the very bottom for my coffee. I really used all my lines here. Usually I don't, so I was really impressed with myself. My Chase Freedom account. 
my Taste Rewards card. My cash. I actually spent cash this month. Go me. I'm going to try and do much better than that for April. And my monthly income for the month of March was $4,517. Because I actually have money now that's consistent. And that's really nice. So I know exactly now how much I'm making every week. And oh, and we also had our, um, what else did I have? I had did my income tax come back, my tax return, and the um, stimulus income came back. So March, I made a ton of money towards my debt payments. Um, basically, I took $50 for myself for my for my stimulus, and I put the rest on my Chase Freedom card. Um, I did put $65 aside for the Budget Mom in my savings because I really, 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 really want the Liberty Planner. And I was looking at the most expensive option with shipping. And for this year's, or I guess last year's Liberty Planner, it was $65, maybe like $64 and some change. So I put $65 into my savings so that way when it's available, I can have the money to purchase it. And she just announced that it would be available in May. So May is when the pre-orders will start and I'm so excited. I can't wait. So what else did I do in May? Um, finished off some sinking funds. So that's good. And my, I did the math weird here. I don't know what I was thinking, but, um, I made $3,251 more than I did last year. And let's see. So here are my debt payments. Here are my math checks out. Or at least it's the same across both pages. So that's good, right? So that is the end of Q1. I did keep it under 20 minutes. I'm very proud of myself. So the next time you see me, it will be for the April um, review, basically. I just finished week one, and now I am starting week two. So that's exciting. And hopefully these videos will be slightly more consistent, or at least like once a month even. I don't know. We'll see. It's a nice way for me to keep myself accountable and um, stay consistent, essentially, with my goals and not not fall apart like I did or have in the past, even though I was hard also posting myself. But anyway, um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, I will see you in the next video.